shot, babe. Tisha Ami here with 10 of her 12 points in the third quarter, coming alive offensively and defensively. Ari also made her first three of her AU career today. One thing I got to say about her is energy. She's bringing a lot of energy in the second half, looking for her shot, aggressive on def defense, just like you said. And you know, about Team Sims, they got a dog in them. They got a dog in them. So let them go, let them go. Ari Chambers, Brendan Glasheen, Janae Sims on the sideline. Great to have you with us today. Game one of our doubleheader. Cole tees up a three. Too strong that time. The hustle by Berger. Numbers developing for Team Sims. Zaya Cook off the back foot. Ami here, another board. Kick it to Bell for three. Kirsten Bell thought she stuck that one, sitting on 24 points. Ami here. 14th on the leaderboard, entered today 20th, so that's contributing to her point total. And a lot at stake, of course, when you consider a chance for Team Mitchell to try and come back and win the game, but also win another quarter. And for Team Sims, they want to win another quarter to split the quarters today and also try and win the game and get their first win of the weekend. Essence Carson understands that after last night's game. And at this point, Essence joining us now for a chair chat. Your team in front by three. What do you make of this one? Uh, we're playing our game. You know, uh, we let the game come to us. We're taking what the defense gives us. And we're just, you know, playing to the best of our abilities. We're really putting people in positions where they can be successful. And that's what you're seeing tonight. You know, uh, obviously Sims is not a stranger to leadership, but neither are you. You're a super vet, and a couple players have told me that you have been able to instill confidence in them. What do you say to these younger players with knowing that, like, you have a lot of years in this game, honey? A lot of years <laughs> in this game. One, um, I tell them slow the game down in their heads and their minds, you know, slow the game down, especially when you become a professional in your early in your career, it seems so fast. You know, the bodies are bigger, faster, stronger. Um, the speed of the game is just a lot faster. So, I mean, a lot of these women are talented, no matter what. That's why they got to this point in their career. So it's just about, you know, getting back to a space where you're comfortable to do the things that you're great at. So that's it. Just instilling confidence in them um, and tell them, let the game come to them. Essence, why does the game of basketball still, uh, what does it still bring to you on a daily basis? Oh, it brings joy, you know? Because I can get out there and I can move. As long as these legs can move and this mind works, Man, I'm going to continue to do what I love. Of course, I have a lot of other things going on, but this game of basketball has done a lot for me over the years throughout my uh, entire life, from a kid all the way up until now. Um, it's the passion that keeps me here. It's the love. I was going to keep talking about basketball, but you said you had a lot of other things going on. Talk about them, because we, we know the girls are very, very, they have range, girls. okay? The girls have range. What yeah. else you got going on, Essence? I mean, you know, for a long time, for, some while, for a while, I did, uh, I was part of the Universal Music Group system, you know, working within that on the music side of things uh, since then. Um, I moved on and, um, you know, started started a company of my own um, that focuses in music, focuses on music, fashion, and um, image consulting. Um, man, doing a lot. I have a festival that I'm taking part in that's coming up in April that I'll be performing it uh, with, the, with the live band. So you guys should be in for a treat, so making my return to that side. Got a lot of things going on, you know. I, I have speaking engagements, a lot of stuff. I love being your biggest cheerleader, uh, but I have to be a little messy here. Uh, you got to call out some people uh, in AU. You, you're all about fashion. Who's the best dressed outside of you oh, in this league? Really gonna put her on the spot like I that. surely am. Best dress, best dress. Oh, you man. can get me multiple if you if you can't pick just one. You can pick I broadcasters mean... too. Period. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Ari, I see you stepping in here you on the side. I, yo, I see you stepping. That's a big step right there, man. You coming in here clean, Ari. And and the face is beat down. You're not gonna, look, you're look, not gonna look, cop out this answer though. Look, 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 look. No, no, I mean, you know, you know, you know, the old faithfuls, you know, Ty is up in there, Ty's Ty's gonna be in there, Ty's always stepping with it and you know I can't I can't I, I'd be remiss if I did not say my home girl Sam you guys know her as Soraya yes. McGuire but Sam has it going she has it going on she's a model by trade as well I'm not the only one doing multiple things Sam is amazing Sam has amazing style put that thing on always <laughs>
Did she satisfy you with those answers? I, she did because okay, I, would, I would have to agree. I would have to agree. <laughs> we have Essence Carson with us. How do you make it work with, with both career passions? Um, it's just been something I've been doing since I've been about, shoot, I, don't know, I started music when I was nine years old. I went to a performing arts school, so it's always a thing for me. I, I, I can't remember a time when I didn't do both. Um, so it's, it's just time management and understanding what you're willing to sacrifice. And, you know, you'll sacrifice whatever it is for your passions and for your love. And I've been doing that since I've been about nine years old. Ooh, uh, so we, we know that music is a reflection of, of basketball and, and vice versa. Uh, can we talk a little bit about your game and how the fluidity of it translates on the court? And you can, you know, talk about your, your teammate, Kirsten Bell, real quick, too. Oh, no, yeah, for, for sure, for sure. Um, you said it. You said it best. You know, it's about the fluidity of the game, about making sweet music out there. Um, when I approach music, when you're talking about learning a piece, you know, you, you, it's about your, your focus. It's about your ability to concentrate and tune all of the noise out and just focus on what is in front of you. Um, that's basketball, being the glue out there, you know, uh, piecing together one movement to the next when you're talking about music and sonatas and things like that. It's the same on the court. You know, how can you make this thing flow without any hiccups? And that reflects my game. You know, I'm willing to go out there and do whatever it takes. You know, if you need a basket, I can go do that. If you need some stops, you definitely can go do that. If you need leadership, I can do that. Um, it's just about doing what the song needs. And, you, and then they'll create beautiful music. And that's what I like to do on the court, create something that's beautiful, a beautiful product out there that ends up in a win. Essence Carson, thanks so much. Great stuff. We enjoyed the conversation. Get back with your squad, and best of luck here down the stretch. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. All right, 6.35 to go. Team Sims and Essence Carson with a four-point lead. Come back with us. <laughs> you used the word fluidity, and that was fluid in the lane by Tiffany Mitchell, she has 22 points to lead her team, one of four players in double figures. Four players in double figures for Team Sims, all in the starting five. Bell, Cook, me here, and Sims. Successful challenge by Team Mitchell. We're gonna jump it up in a moment. Yes, and one of the X factors that we talked about was Leticia Ami here. She has been able to just really utilize her length, get the ball where it needs to be, and just not be afraid to just finish in the paint. And then defensive end, those blocks, it's that length every single time. But I love that she's stepping into her confidence and continuing to grow each and every time. It doesn't matter if it's from Ranger right there under the basket. She's going to she's gonna give you a little some some. She's performing really well today. I mean here, two blocks, two steals, seven rebounds, a trio of assists to go along with the 12 points. Odyssey Sims, this open floor plan she has generated with Simone Augustus, three straight weeks working together, facilitator and captain. They were very excited about Ami here fitting into what they do. And Kirsten Bell has feasted on her own in this basketball game, but even Bell is feeding off of Ami here's energy. Yep, yep, it's just a connection throughout the whole thing. You know what I've noticed though, coming into this jump ball, Finally, Sydney Colson is back. She's been in foul trouble, and you can tell that Team Mitchell really, really, you know, could have used her. And so I'm excited to see how she reignites the team. She's one of those steady, steady players that just can remind her team, like, hey, we got this. We're good in the way that she leads and the way that she plays. So welcome back to the floor, Sydney. And if I am Team Sims, I'm attacking her to make sure that uh, they can't use her for much longer, OK? Colson with 14 points, had 13 in the first quarter. Made her first five shots, both for her last two. Segrist has also been quiet since that great start. Pulls up. Berger tried to collide on the glass, but here comes Sims, who has eight assists. 12 points, Odyssey pounces in the paint. She is in her best, in her bag when she can get the ball to the basket like that, just charge forward. And a steal, Ami here, standing out today. 14. That, that read, Brendan, that read, honey. Largest lead of the day for Team Sims, up by eight with 5.44 to go, and a quarter lead of five. 
And this drive, Taya Cooper said it best. They love to drive, and, it, and who's stopping that? Who's getting in front of that? It's really difficult to stop Odyssey Simmons when she has her eye on the basket like that, and she runs the floor. That, her speed alone? She's so speedy! <laughs> She's so, she's so, like, she's so, um, I never like to use the word aggressive with women because, like, you know, it can get, it can teeter things, but the aggressiveness of Odyssey Sims paired with that speed, paired with her leadership, paired with her desire to win, it's a, it's a drive, pun intended, a drive to success. Experience the excitement of AU Pro Basketball in person here in Dallas. Go to auprosports.com slash tickets to get yours today. Well, and Ari, there's something to be said about feel and IQ and uh -huh. Odyssey we said this last week when it gets to this point in the game uh -huh. you build it you build it meaning okay I'm gonna set my teammates up uh -huh. now it's my turn to go hunt for my shot she just has a great feel of what the defense is presenting and she tries to take exactly what the best look is and it's not just the try she does she she has a, an excellent basketball IQ paired with excellent ability to score and facilitate and so Odyssey, look at it, just obstructing the way, just being aggressive, not fouling, though. It's not her foul. So I just, I, I, I love how she plays the game. I love when she knows when to take control. She was a little off earlier, so that's a moment where she can get her teammates more involved. But now she's like, okay, we have to finish out strong. I'm going to take charge here. From up eight at halftime to down eight with 5.30 left, Janae Sims, what did we learn from the Team Mitchell huddle? Right now, they just really want to pick up their energy on both ends of the floor, stop the small mistakes, and really execute. I think they've gotten really out of their own game and into their own heads. And their field goal percentage has come down considerably, down to 44%. Sitting on those eight made threes, they remember we saw them make six in the first half, just two in the second half. And you brought up Colson, who is on the pine for much of the third. Mitchell swivels, and the shot clock hits zero. Yeah, it's just a matter of regrouping, just like Janae said. Just, just figuring out who we are, just how we how we started the game. It's how we want to finish. We want to keep building on each other. But again, one of their key leaders was out. The one we talk about IQ and City Colson, her IQ is, is amazing. Tiffany Mitchell turns it over for a fifth time. Now 16 turnovers for the orange team, Taya Cooper, wants to dance on Berger. Picked up the dribble, leans in, Berger. With the flick, back out, five to shoot, Sims, pull up. Oh, Odyssey Sims, that is vintage. You think for one moment that Odyssey might just not be having her nights, and then she proves you. This is her game. This is exactly what she does. Call her the cleanup crew. Call her the captain cleanup because she said, it doesn't matter if we we were kind of a little, a little iffy on the beginning of that. I'm going to finish it out for us because this is what I need to do as a captain. Cook accelerates. Ami here is there. Moldro, a no-look block. <laughs> and eventually a whistle. Three there, quarters court. There are so many drive first guards, but Odyssey shows, hey, I can, I am not just a driver, I can take that two dribble pull up and, and really finish out what we started as a possession. So Odyssey Sims doing what she needs to do, because when does she not? She said, I don't care if I wasn't scoring like I wanted to the first half of this game, I'm gonna finish like I want to and still got 16 points. Both teams did a pretty good job of limiting their turnovers in the first half, but Team Mitchell up to 17 and six, make it seven now in the quarter, just three field goals made. We approach four to go. Team Sims now up by 12, Zaya Cook with 20 points. Now I'm looking at who's gonna step up on behalf of Team Mitchell. It's, it's been a while, you know, you gotta dust the cobwebs off. Though they've been playing hard, it's just who's gonna step up and Maddie Seegers, the expert. <laughs> he needed something easy just to quell the enthusiasm of the opposing sideline a little bit. That ends a 7-0 run. Bell goes one-on-one -on -one with Taj Cole. And that's something she's comfortable taking. She's comfortable facing off on, on smaller guards. And 
and getting that contact. She's not afraid of it. So Bell is back at the line, seven of nine today. It's almost like Team Sims has really picked apart Team Mitchell. They know what they're gonna do every time. And they exploit that, okay? Well, they almost approached the first quarter as a feeling out process. Mm -hmm. Let's get a sense of what they want to do and then making those adjustments. And that's where the facilitator and captain chemistry of Augustus and Sims, what they make and what they use out of that 15 minutes, what they soak out of it. And they had a big run to start the third quarter. Terry Cooper said, uh, well, we know Simone Augustus' nickname is Money. So Money Mo, Money was on a money and how to pick apart this team Mitchell. Basket in the foul for Taj Cole. Productive minutes off the bench, no matter what jersey color she wears. No matter what, but Taj, Taj is a relentless one. She's playing for something more than this week. She's playing for her team. She's playing for herself to showcase her ability. She wants every, every chance she can to say, hey, I'm that girl. I am that point guard. Seven for Cole in 21 minutes. Completes the three-point play. This is a three-possession game. 91-84. Sydney Colson hustles towards our booth, creates the steal. Mitchell thought about pulling up, but decides to slow it up. Yep. Stops and starts, and an offensive foul, the last thing you want. There were other opportunities there, but the slight hesitation, it just, it just didn't allow opportunity for them to finish that possession out. It is the eighth turnover committed by Team Mitchell in the fourth quarter. That is a big number. Eight of the 19 committed in the last quarter. That's money time. Yep, yep. Picking them apart, I'm telling you. They're picking them apart. Seven point game, three minutes to play. Zaya Cook, that was pretty. Now it's nine, but you're gonna keep playing to the end. Just when you think people are out of time, they're not. They're not. Now the pace slows down for Team Sims. They want Cook to keep it going, but she coughed it up. Up to Cole, one dribble. Rebound Segrist, dishes to Berger. How did Maddie Segrist not only rebound that ball, but have the wherewithal to throw it to Berger? Following that ball, just making sure she, like, she wanted to place emphasis on offensive boards. And she told me that pregame. She said, I'm not going to let go until this possession is over. Saw her teammate, Grace Berger, right there waiting on it. And made the unselfish decision to, to get that extra pass to her. Colson up to Segrist. The big runs the floor well. Segrist with 21 points. Back-to-back 20-point -back games for Maddie Segrist. And she just fires me up because I just love when people can just showcase what they can do. And, and Maddie had a plan for herself. She was out here shooting when no one else was, just knowing that this is what she wanted to do. But how about that drive? Taylor Cooper and her spinning, her spin moves. Very pretty. I mean, modeling and beauty are her passions. She can do it on the floor, too. Obviously, I absorbed a lot, of, a lot of contact right there. Just, I know she doesn't fear it, but that was a nice knock. But Taya Cooper, with that spin just right there, it didn't matter who was guarding her. She, she wanted that. Did it in a nice, flashy way. I love a nice little spin, Brenda. I do. Cooper's first field goal of the night, by the way. 95-88, 139 to play. A four-point lead for Team Sims in the quarter. So that would allow them to split the quarters in this game, the two teams, 2-2. Two -two. 180 points to each member of the winning team. So the line, I, I want to know how these last, you know, a little bit over a minute is going to work because Team Sims, actively is refusing to let Team Mitchell get any type of momentum. Just when you think. Almost thrown almost. away. <laughs> it's a Zion advantage. <laughs> they yelled just loud enough for Cook to have a heads up. Down seven with 125. You don't have to foul yet. You lose points when you commit a foul. This could be the dagger. Cooper 
Back iron, offensive rebound. She said, let's reset. And get it together. With five for Sims, Odyssey. Absorbs the contact, rebound, Cook, blocks Seagrist, Ami here is there. She is here. The second and third chance opportunities for Team Sims because of the relentlessness on the board is so dope. It's so dope. They said, we're going to finish what we started. I love when they stay with it until the basket goes. Look at that, Zaya getting up, didn't care. LA just doing what she needs to do to finish it out. Third time's a charm. It is, it is. Ami here with back-to-back -back games with a double-double. Had 18 and 14 Thursday, 16 and 11 tonight. Coming up at 6 Eastern, also on ESPN Plus. Natasha Cloud, Alicia Gray, another chapter of the Broken Up Avengers. The Broken Up Avengers? I missed them from last week, but hey. I love a parody moment, and this is gonna be a good game. I, I just, I just love how everything is just, is just neck and neck. And uh, you know, Alicia Gray, she might be quiet and things like that, but she doesn't like to lose, and neither does Natasha Cloud. But who does? But these are two competitors, and I can't wait for their matchup. Two MVP winners from the other night, and Alicia Gray still number one on the leaderboard. Zaya Cook with an AU best, 22 points. Ari, three made threes, seven boards. The hustle, the comfortability for Zaya. We were hitting on that during her LA Sparks rookie campaign, only taking her a week to settle into AU. All right, once you settle in, you get the shots that you want. She get, she's been able to get the shot that she wants, whether it's a double dri a dribble pull up or if she shoots from range, it doesn't matter. Zaya Cook has been reaching different levels of comfort with each minute of the game. And so it's good to see her come into her own. Seven points in the fourth quarter for Zaya Cook. That's a third of her team's points. Up six in the quarter, 21-15. Let's see what Team Mitchell drew up. Tiffany contest, don't matter. Fall away swish for Tiffany Mitchell, 24 points. And I like that quick out of timeout setting, you know, the tempo, the mentality of how you have to finish out the game. The game isn't over. Heads up by Berger, lays it in. Exactly, they wanted to set the tempo. They said, hey, I know it seems like it's over. We're gonna keep running it up, so let's run it up. So you, you, you as a captain gotta set the, set the mentality for your team. How are we going out? It looked like the squad in orange just doubled in size, the number of players in on that basketball. Let's see if they can do it again. Look at this pressure. They're trying to stop Odyssey. Odyssey Sims threw it over the head of Cook, a turnover. So exactly what Team Sims did to Team Mitchell. Speed them up, mm -hmm. make them turn it over. Mm -hmm. In just 10 seconds, Team Mitchell does it back to Team Sims. Hashtag apply pressure. They said, we're not done yet. Let's see where they go. Down five and down two in the quarter. Segrist fed inside, falls away. Count it in one. Game over where, Brendan? Game over where? They said that had to, sometimes it just takes a timeout. Sometimes it just takes a regrouping and saying, hey, I don't know if y'all know this, but the game is still going on. It might seem like it's over, but it's not over. Not over. Tiffany Mitchell said, let me give it to, to Maddie, and Maddie's going to put it in. That X Factor, she said, that X Factor, honey. It is a two-point game, 7-0 run, nine in the quarter for Segrist. Once again, full court pressure. There's a five second differential, shot clock and game clock. Sims is called for a travel. Again, you have one challenge in the final two minutes, but you cannot challenge a travel. So it's side out for Team Mitchell. Brennan, are you getting ready for the OTOT? There's never much love when we go OT because it I was can very waiting well, for you to go it there. It can very well happen. You can call a challenge on a personal foul or an out of bounds violation, not a turnover situation. Down by two. In the hands of Tiffany Mitchell, who has 24. Attacks, throws it to the sideline. Berger trying to save it. Loose with five. Sims to the basket, lays it in with 1.8. Odyssey Sims.
Rose wanted to ensure her team won the quarter. Oh my God. That puts them ahead 23-22 oh and up two possessions in the game. That is why she tried to score right there and was successful. Oh my gosh, just what, it, it's been <laughs> such a crazy, such a crazy past few seconds. But you know, out of that huddle, Team Mitchell said, y'all think this game is over? It is not over. Let me show you what a captain can do. Let me show you how to step up when my team needs me. And quick hands, we're gonna apply this pressure. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. And you see the Grace Burger basket right there. But adversely, Odyssey Sim said, you thought. I love, I love a captain back and forth moment. The captain and her team had three straight possessions with turnovers until this bucket. That's gutsy. It's, I mean, that, that's how you define Odyssey Sims, no? Like, it's literally, if I, if I had something to say about Odyssey Sims, just gutsy, grit, finish it. I wanted to find another G word, but gosh, the way my brain's been working today. So, still a chance for Team Mitchell to win the quarter, but Cole throws it out of bounds. It looks like a little bit of confusion on what they were trying to do. Was there a deflection on the inbounds? Tosh Cole is pleading her case, but I, it was just big miscommunication on what, what they were supposed to do for that. And the official signals a timeout on the floor. Well, I think they're going to get a 30-second timeout, actually, for Team Sims. They want to make sure they inbound this ball cleanly Yeah. with 1.8. And just to clarify, we say gutsy because if you're Odyssey Sims and the purple team, get out of here with the 180 points, right. take the win. Right. She not only wanted that, but wanted to win the quarter. You she win said, 60 points done. if you win a quarter. I have this leaderboard. These the leaderboard points that still matter? <laughs> Look, okay, Odyssey. Well, and specifically, you bring up her. It's important as a captain, nine-time captain. You want to pass Tiffany Mitchell. Yep. You, 60 points goes a long way. And to Carson, but stolen by Mitchell. He's at half court. That would have been interesting for sure. Ooh, she did what she could do. She did what she could do, and it, it was promising, right? Like, we thought game over, and then Team Mitchell was like, no, not so much. So Tiffany Mitchell loses her first game as a captain, was 4-0, drops to 4-1, and, and how about Team Sims? That was a tough way to go down. to the absolute finish. Fought to the finish. They said, hey, we know we'll dig ourselves out of this moment, but uh, we like to dismantle people one by one.